Hello everyone, welcome to episode 10 of the Idle Game Maker tutorial series. In this episode we are going to talk about achievements. So, achievements are things you can unlock, usually as a recognition for reaching some kind of milestone. And this milestone can for example be earning a certain amount of a resource, getting some kind of building's production above a certain amount. Achievements can also act as upgrades using the passive effect type. And achievements use the requirement property to unlock along with most other things. So we're gonna talk about the requirement property in just a second and of course they are declared in the achievements section and by default they are found in the info tab in your game. So let's first talk about the unique properties of achievements. Achievements actually only have one unique property and it's this one. So in an expression this property returns whether or not we own the achievement. Now this property acts as a true or false value in an expression and you can use this to check if you own an achievement and if so make something happen using if statements. Now a little bit more on condition flow in a future episode. Condition flow is basically just if or else statements. And here we also have an example of this exact thing happening. So if you append this if statement to the passive effect, so if you have a, some kind of production achievement it would grant you some upgrade. So now let's talk about the requirement property. Now the requirement property is not unique to achievements and it can actually be used by resource buttons, buildings or upgrades as well. And uh, it's very important because you don't want all your things unlocked at the beginning of the game, right? Because that's no fun. So if the thing is an achievement, it will be earned if the specified requirements are fulfilled. And if you want, you can pause and read a little bit more about it. I will just show you the examples that are listed here. So if you have, for example, in some kind of thing, the requirement of three gems, the thing will only unlock or show on you in your game if you have at least three of these gems. So if we, for example, want to unlock an upgrade in our game when we have at least earned um, 1000 coins, right, we will do required 1000 coins. Now you can also use this to track how much of a resource you are gaining per second and if you are gaining more than for example 15 of a resource per second it will unlock something maybe an achievement and if you also have an upgrade maybe that upgrade can unlock a button another upgrade or some building or achievement as well so yeah this is very important and we will definitely be using this a lot in our game so that should be pretty much it about achievements and now comes your optional challenge so your tasks for this challenge are to add an achievement to the game give it a name edit description telling the player about its requirements and have it unlock once you get at least 100 coins so pause the video give it a try let me know how it went in the comments and if you are stuck i have two hints prepared for you that should hopefully help you so if you are stuck here's the first hint make sure to use the requirement property of course and if you are still stuck here's the second hint Make sure to declare the new achievement in the achievement section. Alright, hopefully you gave that a go. Now let's move on to actually coding this and I will show you the solution on how to do this right now. So I'm in Pastebin right now and we need to add an achievement. So let's begin by adding the achievement section. Let's make a new thingy, call it coin collector. Give it a name of coin collector since that's going to be the name of this achievement. Give it a description of you earned 100 coins. Welcome to the club of coin collectors. And now comes the requirement property. So for this, in order to unlock this achievement, we need to have 100 coins earned. So you just do 100 coins. And if you did this exact thing, that's okay. I kind of set you up for failure because you had no idea of knowing that you can do anything else than this. But in our case, we actually need to add the earned selector because if you only typed in 100 coins, it would only unlock if you have 100 coins in your bank. We want it to unlock once we have earned an all time of 100 coins. So 100 coins earned and that should be it. So let's now go to our game, hit refresh. And we already earned it because we have some progress on the save file already. But let's wipe our progress and get to 100 coins. Okay, so I am almost at 100 coins. Let's just click the button four more times. And there we go. We got the achievement coin collector and we can see it in the info tab. Okay, one more thing is that in our code, I forgot to indent my upgrade. So let's just quickly do that. Just a little thing that I noticed. I also think it's... Probably a bit better if this is plural, so let's just quickly tweak that a little bit. And yeah, that should be a lot better now. 
yeah magnet okay that should be it for this episode thank you very much for watching uh, make sure to like comment and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos and if you really enjoy what i do here feel free to check out my patreon link is in the description and yeah i'll see you in the next one